Baker. Today marks eight months since five-year-old Michael Vaughn disappeared. Since that first day, Fruitland police have been following up on leads, searching for the little boy, but still no sign of Michael. CBS 2's Michaela Ellich spoke with Michael's parents today who are out at Tree Fort asking people to help find their son. She joins us now live. And Michaela, how are the parents holding up? Well, despite there still being no sign of Michael, Michael's parents remain hopeful in finding their little boy. Now, they've actually had a booth here at Tree Fort, as you said. And over here, we have photos of Michael. We have a flyer with more information, um, some wristbands, pins with his photo, and also more information about Michael. They're hoping by spreading the word, they'll be able to bring Michael home safely. Everybody that can see his face and show that positive positivity and make it about finding Michael and bringing awareness is the number one thing. Now Thursday marks the last day for the $52,000 reward for Michael's safe return. And although no one has come forward, Michael's parents say they have full faith that the Fruitland Police Department is doing everything they can to find Michael. Now, in addition to the flyers and information, they are also passing out child identification forms. Um, they look like this. They have your photo, your right fingerprint, your right thumb tip, and on the back they have your name, hair color, eye color, height and weight. This is just a great resource to have if you have a little one, especially an event like this one. So if you're at Tree Fort, make sure to stop by their booth. Live in Boise, Michaela Ellett, CBS 2 News. Now let's take one more look at the uh, la one of the last pictures anyway that we have of Michael Vaughn. He's three feet six inches tall, weighs around 50 pounds. He has blonde hair, blue eyes. He also responds to the nickname Monkey. If you've seen him or know where he might be found, call the Fruitland Police Department.